So we're going to learn how to take a screenshot. We have, there are four ways in Windows and really more, but these are just a few to choose from. Now, what is a screenshot? It's actually a picture of what's on your screen or part of your screen. Here is what the button looks like on my keyboard, PRTSC. Sometimes it might be on the top right, it might be other places, it's where it is on mine. That's the key we'll be using first for hotkeys. Hotkeys means you're just pressing keys on your keyboard to take a screenshot. So now I'm going to take a screenshot by pressing print screen on mine, it's PRTSC. And I'm just going to open up a new document and show you that when I when I paste this in, this new document, right click and paste, here's the whole screenshot. Now you're going to notice I have two monitors, so you're going to see a lot of the screen here, but I can still operate this like a picture. I can crop it. I can change the size. I can do all that sort of thing with just a simple screenshot by pressing print screen. Now this goes into your temporary clipboard, um, so that's where it is. Um, and then you just paste it. And remember, when you copy something else, it'll overwrite that and you can no longer uh, paste it. So let's say I just want to get this window. I'm going to press Alt Print Screen and it will just select the active window or the one in the front. I can tell because I'm going to go in here and I'm going to press Paste. Paste this in. And you can see that I just have that in there. So when I am in uh, PowerPoint, I can insert a screenshot by just taking a picture. And when I hit screenshot, I can say, okay, I want an example of this. And I just pick this screen and it'll put it right there. And that also works that way in Microsoft Word as well. So the second quick way is I'm pressing the Windows button or you can use the charms and I'm just typing snipping and you can see that the snipping tool comes up. And when this comes up, I have all kinds of little features that I can use. So I can say new and then just grab a little bitty picture of this. And now I just have a little small picture. I can write on it, highlight it, uh, do all the different kinds of things to it. Uh, for my snipping, I can also do uh, I can copy it, I can paste it other places, um, and that's my snipping tool. I can email from it, but I don't usually use that um, because um, we use uh, Google Email here. But there are some things you can do with the snipping tool. Um, do remember, if you want to save this for later, then do save as, and you can find it later, particularly if you're turning it in to an online system of some kind. So I'm typing Snagit Chrome extension and I'm using Google Chrome and you can go into the Chrome store and install this as an extension. Now I already have it, um, so it's going to say I've added, but you're going to be adding it. And what it does is it lets you take a screenshot right from inside Chrome. So so I hit the snag it button and I can do a region, all visible. Scrolling is cool because it'll scroll the whole page and grab the whole page. I can also hit this button right here and record a screencast, which is actually what I'm doing right now. So when I hit region, I'm going to say, okay, I'm just going to grab this little copy. There we go. And I'm going to hit this button and it's going to take a picture. And I do want to name my image. Now this links with your um, Google account that you have here at the school or your Google account that you have wherever. You can write on it. You can draw on it. It's a little bit easier used than some of the other tools. Um, and you can do all kinds of stuff on it and hopefully you can spell awesome correctly. Um, and then over here in the bottom right hand side you have the little dots. You can either grab the link to this or you can hit download. And if you download it, you now have it on your computer and you can turn it in any way you wish. So you have lots of different options for taking screenshots depending on what you're trying to do. So a few tips on Snagit. If you're going to use Snagit for Chrome, you must be using the Chrome web browser. Search for Snagit Chrome extension. Install it. Link it to your Google account. Sometimes it's easier if you're already logged into your Google account and it'll just go right in there. And you can only take pictures and screencasts inside Chrome. So you'll have to use the first three steps if you're doing anything in Windows. 
So let's review. We've learned four ways. We've learned hotkeys. Print screen lets you take the whole screen or double monitor like it did for me. Alt print screen lets you take just the active window. You can also do the screenshot insert in Office. Uh, most of the programs have that little screenshot button now. You can use a snipping tool, which is part of Windows, and you can also install Snagit. Now remember, um, the first one here uses the clipboard. It's only temporary. It will be written over when you copy something else. Remember to save it if you want to copy and edit the screenshot after you take it. Um, some people really work hard to get it just right on their screen, just right size. That's really kind of a waste of time. Do it after you take it. So why are screenshots important? Well, when you're dealing with online safety issues, you always want to know how to screenshot. It is the second step in our five steps to online safety. You want to stop, screenshot before you block. Then you want to block if they're harassing you on Facebook or Twitter or wherever. You block after you screenshot because if you block before, sometimes you'll lose all of that information that you have on what has actually happened. Then you want to tell the appropriate people, fraud dot at the fraud website for the FTC. There's lots of places to report cyberbullying if that's your issue. Ask a teacher like me. Um, find somebody who can help you. And then when you're done resolving your issue, you want to share it to help others. So let's be safe. Let's know how to screenshot and also be world class at technology.